Hi, and welcome to this week's uh, development log. Um, I apologize in advance, this one could be a little bit lengthy because we've made quite a bit of progress on the mechanics side, um, and a lot of that is due to the guy who's been doing a lot of the coding, which, which isn't me, I, I work on making things pretty, which kind of comes after the fact. So, things still look a little chunky, if you know what I mean, and there might be some lagging, but uh, we got a few cool things to show you, so um, currently when you open it up we just got this quick uh, uh, menu in place just to get us through our different different uh, levels I guess, They're not really levels, but let's uh, let's um, let's do interactions just cuz alright so we've seen before it's already lagging some um, the lagging and speed performance issues, of course, will be fixed a little bit later on once things are more in place and start refining it, of course. So, obviously, we've seen motion and stuff before, but now we have this space station, which we didn't have before. Also, I can swap to wherever that uh, pylon ship went. Woo! Full stop. There we go. So, I double click on it, we can change ships, and now I'm in. The Klingon ship, at the Enterprise. We've uh, advanced more weapons, so we've got this space station, and we have implemented a few things. Woo! Back off. First of all, this ship. Let's put it in red, red alert mode. Space station is now our target, and we have some basic uh, torpedoes in place, as you can see. Uh, like I said, the effects need some work, but as you can see, they're just in place. Oh my goodness, it took me a second for to get there. You see the shield impacts, but here's a really cool thing. The disruptors. Well, that didn't have quite the same effect I hoped it would have at <laughs> the very first showing of the Burrell's disruptors. They're only forward firing, which is traditional in the uh, Broken Mirror franchise. Oh my goodness, my aiming is horrible. Let's go find the Enterprise. Now I clicked on the Enterprise and it's my target. Unfortunately, Jeez. Targeting needs a little work. There we go. Hitting the Enterprise. And, uh, so yeah, that's, that's the barrel. But let's switch ships for the moment. And show you, uh, something else. Target the space station again. Put ourselves in red alert mode. Now, of course, you guys have seen the torpedoes already. And there's a shield impact when it gets there. You can see. But now we have phasers. Just your traditional firing phasers. But here's the cool thing. Unlike in regular Broken Mirror, and everyone is going to love this, the phasers do not come from the center of the ship. And in fact, the phasers will align themselves along the phaser strip based on its optimum range. So watch this. So I turn the ship. It jumps to the every phaser strip on the ship, including those ones that never got used in the show on the warp missiles. Some of you may not have even known they were there. And the same goes for the top phaser strips. See? And that's uh, that's pretty cool because. Whoop. So yeah. Torpedoes still need a little work. They uh, they auto direct right to the uh, right to the target, unlike the disruptors. But the phasers, of course, target. 
So, I heard that will take us back to here. Now let's uh, watch as the space station fights back. That's right. The space station fights back. I'm firing the disruptors in the Klingon ship, and now I'm being targeted by the space station. And because I'm a dinky little ship, again, you see the shield effects still needing some work because it's just this big old particle thing. And I've just been destroyed. But the Enterprise is moving along, but I unfortunately can't chase it. But as you can see, it looks like that is some basic special. Um, AI stuff is in place. I don't know what that Oh, I see. I'm controlling the ship. Well, that's interesting. So there you go. Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting some stuff. I always do. But, uh... Yeah, I just flipped it around. It'll blow up me, too, because, uh... Space Station's a little bit more powerful than my Galaxy class, I think, at the moment. But it's cool. This is the beginning inclinations of the combat engine, of course. So I hope everyone's enjoyed this particular little demonstration of what we have accomplished in the last, I don't know, week and a half or so. And, uh... That's it for this one. Stay tuned for more development logs.